today we are going to build a terrain in World Creator 3 and then take it into Unreal Engine 5 and walk around through it and uh, let's get started. Alright, so first I'm in World Creator 3 here. I've started with a base project. Um, just some noise on a plane. I'm going to switch this up to cracks here in the settings. I'll leave this at overwrite. Style, I'm going to put cracks. You can do all kinds of different things. Crater, mountains, canyon, canyons, um, change a bunch of different settings. That's kind of cool actually. Let's, let's go with the Oh no, I'm going to stick with cracks for this one. Um, <clears throat> so here we have the cracks. I'm going to add a filter. Let's do wide flows just to get some nice erosion going in there. Um, on top of that, let's see, I'm going to add one more soft flows just to soften that a tad so all I have basically is the global biome set to overwrite cracks you can play with the different strengths um, I'm set to one meter here I'm gonna go to one quarter meter I have a pretty fast card I have a 3090 in here you can go to one eighth and it stutters for a second until it catches up and then you're able to navigate pretty well but you get all, some really nice detail in there with that um, I'm liking this draw here in the canyon I can run the camera up through here in Unreal Engine uh, I don't think I'm going to add anything or go into materials in this video I'm just keeping it really simple just straight out of world creator i'm going to export a 4k map um, i should bring it into gimp and make it the proper size for unreal which is 4033 uh, but i'm not going to do that for this i'm just going to add a preset height map I'm going to do a PNG because I'm having trouble with the raw format coming out of World Creator for whatever reason. 16-bit on. Uh, compression level default seems to work and I don't get any weird ridges, which I've got a ton of in the past um, when I do use compression or the raw files for some reason. I'm probably doing something wrong. Um, okay, so export selected take a second takes a little longer for the 4k maps if you go to 1 8 it'll be a 1 or a 8k map uh, there we go so I'll show in folder just to show you where that went so this will be height map Oh, it actually exported as an 8K. Sorry, on. Oh, uh, I was on 1 8 to show you guys. So I'm going to go back to 1 quarter. All the settings are the same. Re export. I left it on 8K or 1 8 when I was showing you guys so you go to the folder as you can see it gives the height map and the size um, what I should do and I guess I will do is um, I'm going to open this in GIMP because I found that Photoshop has a hard time with these files uh, at least when I deal with Photoshop with them I get ridges on my landscape so okay here we are in GIMP um, I'm going to open up height map 
4096 P and G. All right. I'm going to I'm scaling this image uh, down to 4033 uh, from 4096, and here we go. That's it. Export has the same name. Replace. Default seems to work for me. Meantime, I'll open up Unreal. I'm going to start with a new blank level. Save that one. Um, so it's good to know how to uh, create your own sky you know, using the directional light, the sky atmosphere, skylight. Um, so learn that first in Unreal, but um, I use Ultra Dynamic Sky now, and it's automatic. I don't have to deal with all that stuff. As you can see, it gives a really nice looking sky, um, which you have a lot of control with. Even into the night, it's, it's great. Um, saves me a lot of time, and I'm really just building cinematics, so you know, I don't want to spend all my time making the sky and the uh, sky environment. Okay, so now I got the sky, I'm gonna to switch to landscape mode, which you can do up here, or you can hit shift two, and then you go into landscape mode. Um, I'm going to, you'll, you'll see this menu here, uh, new landscape, you can either create one here and then sculpt on it. What we're gonna do is import one from our height map that we created in World Creator. So I will pick the height map 4096 PNG, open that up. Everything lines up when you have the correct scale on your initial height map. Um, I'll put a link to the list of sizes in the, in the video. Um, but 4033 is Unreal standard 4K landscape size, and it's huge. It's a plenty big, um, I find. All right, so I got um, this in my landscape material too, which I got from Joe Garth and Brushify. Um, and that is a great way to quickly get your landscape material on your landscape without having to do a bunch of uh, work yourself. We are going to go into paint mode. And I really like this grass dry. Um, you have all these layers you can use. Sand, snow, forest. I'm gonna use grass dry. Um, matches kind of California islands or California coast, which I'm doing some projects with that. So. What you have to do is grab the grass layer info, which I've already done. Um, if you haven't already done it, you have to click this plus and click weight blended layer, and then you save the grass dry layer info into a folder, which I've already done. So I'm just gonna click it here, give it a second. amazing grass layer that just it looks so good so we'll get back to select mode by hitting uh, shift one and we can just do a little play from here it looks really really good for how long that takes um, so yeah, there it is. Straight out of World Creator into a beautiful landscape. Um, within, what, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes. Um, you can fly, let's fly over here to the top of this mountain. And let me just create a night sky. This is cool. around here. 
here somewhere. Uh, there it is. So yeah, so very quickly you can create a, a landscape and you can scale the tiling, you can, there's so many variables. Um, so you, now we got the base. Um, I'm going to continue working on this and build something out of it. Uh, so the next tutorial will probably be um, painting in some other biomes, adding some geometry, adding the cameras, sequencer, that kind of stuff. I'm just going to kind of go through the process. Um, it's super fun and yeah, I mean you can just hit G and get out of, uh, get it in the game mode so you don't have your selection. But anyway, that's it. Uh, World Creator 3 to Unreal Engine 5 in 20 minutes. Um, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and uh, so please comment and um, yeah, have a great day.